Hi. Uh, again, this is an update about this uh, 3 kilowatt of FTC. Uh, just to remind you that uh, I did buy the 30 kilowatt from FTC. This is the invoice. So uh, let's hear together what FTC has to say with this uh, about this uh, generator. They're, they're rated at 71 amps. This 30 kilowatt is rated at 50 amps at 600 volts. That's where you get the, the wow. 30,000 30, watts. Nice. What we've done is, by developing it this way, you as a as a owner, yeah. Can get the power across the broad range of I need RPM. That. It doesn't have to be at a specific RPM. What you want is you want to get it to spend at a specific RPM, at whatever RPM you need, whatever voltage you need, or whatever current. It will produce up to 30 kilowatts yeah. at 50 amps at 600 volts. Nice. Now I want to show you how easily the power is yeah. generated. You can see by the meter right here voltage that you'll be able to generate. Show us. Now I'm just going to spin it with my fingertips and you can see there's 59 volts. 60 volt. There's 72 volts. 70 That's volt. how easy it generates electricity. Wow. And you can see that it's zero cogging. That's the key. Zero cogging. Zero cogging. And it will produce that much power Continuously, you don't hear any noise. No, no noise. noise. There's no mechanical. There's nothing to uh, wear out the bearings. If you grease the bearing, that's the greasing. This thing will last as long as you do. Beautiful. Ah, uh, this is an amazing generator. I wanted this generator, and that's why. Yeah, I that's why I promoted it. it. And I got it two days ago. Let's see. This is the generator I got. Yeah, it looks beautiful. Beautiful generator. Looks very small though, compared to what we saw on the YouTube channel. But I disagree. Well, it's a smaller diameter, but it's, it's way rates. thicker. So it must be it. Okay. So let's test and see uh, this uh, spinning and 72 uh, volt. Okay, so what I did is I just connected a multimeter to the two wires. Okay, it's very simple. And by the way, I have an upgrade here. FTC upgrade me for free for this beautiful ceramic bearing. Okay, even though the, the screws on the rotor was loose, but they said it's from shipping. Oh, yeah. Anyway, so now... Let's Vibration the can uh, unloosen lock washers. No the, the which is why you noise. use them. Oh. It doesn't sound the same, man. It doesn't sound the same, but it, it's still, it's, it's okay. But it doesn't sound the same. Let's see... It sounds like trash! This, it can, uh, like, with a uh, spinning of hand, like... Uh, did on the video. Let's see. 30. 30 volt. That is a uh, shame. The I can get with a spinning like him is 30 volt. I don't even like looking at it and hearing it. That It just sounds like it belongs in the trash. Are you kidding me? What's going on? Is this the same generator? Maybe it's not. Maybe this is the 5 kV. 5 uh, kilowatt, I mean. Not the uh, 30 kilowatt. Big, big difference in voltage. This is 30 maximum. You've been sabotaged, dude. This guy knew what you were trying to do. And he disapproved of it. Remember what he said? His generators will not be used in this way. Guess what? They won't either. Because that generator ain't nothing. He sabotaged it. That's the bottom line.
Listen to it. That's not from shipping, okay? Shipping is not going to loosen lock washers. Shipping is not going to loosen lock washers. The reason you use lock washers is because it prevents loosening under heavy vibration. So if, it, if they're going to loosen under shipping, then uh, don't, don't even dare run the thing. Because, golly, I, I'm not even going to go there. So, yeah. Anyways, uh... Old dude from Real Race Com, you either need to step up to the plate, be a man, grab yourself by the nuts, and make this right, or you need to pack it up, buddy.